to the channel, welcome back to the channel, whichever you see today, and welcome to, welcome back to the ultimate map and move rank, and we're going from beginning to most recent, and then official geography, song by song, get my thoughts and put it to this, most favorite to least favorite, which you can find in the pin and comment section below, <gasps> the story so far, right, oh man, right, okay, this one's interesting, I, this, the, the title of this song has a reputation, I've seen this about a lot, the title of this song, here's the thing though, I don't know whether I've heard it because I checked out um, I checked out the amazing concert that I checked out with Mamamoo on my Patreon. If you want to check that out, and I don't know if this is one of the songs, but timeline wise, maybe it came out after that concert. I'm trying to work out when that concert was. Not sure. So maybe, maybe this is going to be one of the songs that I hear it and then I'm like, oh yeah, I've heard this before. Or maybe, again, it's one of those songs that I know has a reputation for some reason and I've not heard it before. So this is going to be very interesting. And it has an MV as well. But yeah, the, I, regardless, this song has a reputation and I need to know why. Where are we now? This 
tell you that the grass is green. Yeah, I'm pretty. Yeah, that's that's the title of the documentary, I think, right? Which man, that documentary is amazing, guys. I checked that out on my Patreon, and it got me very emotional. Um, I think that's why I heard snippets of that song, but I've never heard it in full like that before. That piano, that. Okay, so I'm, um, uh, that was the ultimate, guys, as far as, like, <laughs> goosebumps up and down both arms, goosebumps on my neck, as I always say, and then the final stage is, is, is watery eyes. I can see why that song has a reputation. Uh, I'm going to play it again, guys, uh, and I'm going to do it for a particular reason. I got a feeling that the Moo Moo's are going to be on me if I don't watch that with lyrics. Um, and also, this is the first song in a long time that I wouldn't mind listening to again when it comes to um, the list, let's say. Because I may need to think. <sighs> Man. Give me interesting look at that list. Alright, let's watch it with captions. I don't normally do this, but I don't know. I got a feeling with this one. With how emotional it is. <laughs> The emotion in all of their voices, man. How talented they are. I am looking at the lyrics by the way guys, but I don't want to only focus on lyrics anyway, as you may know, but when you got book, when you got, when you got music like this, when you're just doing stuff to me, it's so hard to focus on lyrics anyway. Talking about where we're we going. Uh, uh, you have a hundred percent hit hit ratio. No matter what song it is. It's 
to look at lyrics when you got four beautiful women like that on screen, guys. Sorry. That's one of those songs. Tears these women have st stolen from me at this stage. <laughs> so now I have to fill the damn water bottle. Um, oh my god. Sorry, I'm just getting my list up. What I'm doing now, guys, I don't know if I did it for the last episode. Um, I'm screen recording. Uh, what I do with the lists in real time. It's just better presentation for you guys and uh, easier for me in the edit and stuff, so it should be on screen right about now. Um, so look at the bottom of my list now. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, guys. But I'm sure I'm not the only person that's, that's uh, got a bit wa watery from that one. Um, I did take in the lyrics, by the way. Uh, they were beautiful lyrics. But again, guys, I, I, I'm I, always here for the music more than anything else. Because um, like, I, I, with great music, even if it's not in your language, um, you can still feel it. You can still feel the emotions and stuff, you know? Uh... I, I can't get over how amazing that song is. And obviously, it's so easy to talk about how unbelievable vocals are. Like I have on, how many songs? How many songs is that now? Sorry if you can hear a lot more outside, by the way, guys. That's the 89th song in this ranking series. 89 songs. Nearly at 90, wow. Um, and every, I know on every song I've compliment their vocals because you just have to you know um you just have to and the instrumentals you know uh, have always been um good to brilliant right um but to say that that instrumental elevated somehow what they were doing vocally which was already absolutely phenomenal that instrumental, what I loved about it so much is that it was so, it was obviously there was a lot of production in it, but it was very stripped back at the same time. But it had a presence there. It wasn't just like, oh, we'll keep it as minimal as possible because of what they're going to do vocally, which they could have gone with, with the vocals in the song and the power and the emotion and... Uh, That's one of those songs that you feel, like I said, even before I checked out it the second time. That's one of those songs you feel. Um, that chorus, when they just belt it out. I, uh, the power and the emotion in that. Every single part of that song, by every member, is just can't miss. Do you know what I mean? It's not like, oh, okay, this song is phenomenal, this bit's really great, but, you know, I'm looking forward, the second time I'm looking forward to getting to this bit, no, no, no. Every single second of that song is just brilliant. And 
to talk about another song, right? On this, uh, Paint Me, right? Which you can see there. I said with Paint Me, which is of course another ballad, Paint Me's incredible, don't get me wrong. Um, but I said with Paint Me that what it was missing for me if I was to nitpick, and the reason why, even though I may move it when I do that revised list, um, is that it didn't have a crescendo for me that I wanted with how epic it was. Um, this song is an example of having that crescendo as well. Because that last chorus when they were just letting, letting loose and then you had that beautiful two-part harmony, I think, which was uh, Hwasa and Wien. Hwasa, sorry. Um, that's, when I got, that's when I got really emotional. But you wouldn't get emotional in that last part if you didn't have the amazing build that the song does throughout. It has this amazing atmospheric cinematic sound to it and it's just like this epic ballad, you know? Um, while still being quite tripped back at the same time. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Munbyul, how, 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 your album's in the back there, how, any genre that you guys do, how do you always hit like that with your verses? How would you do that? Like, even with a ballad like that, a power ballad like that, how would you do that? Damn, Munbyul. Um, yeah, Munbeal's part was amazing, guys. She's on a 100% hit rate with nearly 90 songs, which is just crazy. Um, we in... That voice, man. That honey voice. What's that? Starting the song off, you know given that emotion, going into that low register, all of their belts. Um, Sola, dude. OT4, guys, can you tell? Sola. Because that's, that's the thing, guys. I'm OT4, right? But of course, uh, the first thing I heard was hip. And I was like, wow, all these, these four are talented, right? That was the first thing I heard uh, way back when was hip. But Hip, at the time, it was a song I liked, but I was more impressed by them, if that makes any sense at the time. The song's grown on me more and more since. But I was more impressed with them, and I was like, oh my god, I need to check out more of their stuff. And then, of course, the second thing I checked out was The Killing Voice and the rest is history. And it's the, re the Killing Voice is the reason why I'm sitting here with you guys now doing this. Uh, nearly 90 songs in. And... Um, When I checked out The Killing Voice, I was blown away by all of them. But I'll never forget my first reaction to what Sola could do with those belts. And I didn't have a bias yet, right? It was early days, early, early days. Again, it was only the second video. I didn't know their names when I checked out that second video. I didn't have their names done or anything. But when she went into that belt, uh, which would have been... Mr. Ambiguous, which I think is the first song in The Killing Voice. I was just like, whoa. And then they kept on impressing all of them. And then, of course, I started the ranking, and um, on every song, it was like, oh, it's Sola, man. And then and then maybe We In would come in, and I'm like, We In, though. And then and then Hwasa would come in, and I'd be like, Hwasa, though. And Munbyul, and I was like... And then it kept on happening every song. And, and it was like, nah, Sola's not the bias, they all are. And they're still the only group, male or female, or co-ed, that, you know, I check out on this channel, with all the groups that I check out, that I, they're all the bias, you know? Um, and that goes into their personality stuff as well. By the way, I, I realise now I'm just doing a love letter to Mamamoo, but that's how emotional this song has, met, has made me, and also it means I can stall from making the list. <laughs> But that song kind of encapsulated everything I love about this group. Um, I'm not just saying this because this is a Mamamoo video, guys. They are without a doubt. You know, I, I, I'd want to place it, you know. Um, but they're without a doubt the top five artist groups in any country that I check out on this channel. That's my favourite, without a doubt. They're in that top five. Easily in that top five, by the way. 
I'm not going to say the placement. I can't, never thought of the placement, but they're easily in that top five. I adore them, personality-wise, their music, and man, their talent. Unreal. Uh, looking at me recording this list, I've stalled for eight minutes. It's probably time. Oh, crap. For the first time, I think episode 50 was egotistic. For the first time since then, by some way, nothing has touched egotistic, guys, for me. Egotistic is not only, to date, not only my favourite Mamma Moo song, um, it's my favourite Latin K-pop song. It's my favourite Latin song of any type in, in any country that anybody's done. I, I, I goddamn adore it. It's probably my favourite summer song of all time, too, if you want to class it as a summer song. Um, I, and I, to say I don't skip it, like, I, I seek it out, that song. I, I'm, a, I'm still addicted to that song. Uh, Dicaco Mane as well. I'm... That, that's, that's pretty close to as far as I've been absolutely in love with it. And then, of course, you get to I Miss You, which is another ballad and an unbelievable one. Not always seeking it out because I need to be in the mood for ballads, but it's phenomenal. But this is... This is a really special song, man. Start from top to bottom. Sit back, folks. We might be here a while, to be honest. We might be here a while. First time, guys. This is like I think when I checked out to Calcomane, which is course number two. Well, I loved it. I don't. I don't. No way. I would have checked out to before Egotistic actually. So Egotistic went above to I knew it. I knew where Egotistic was going when I heard it. So. So what's that? 30, 39 songs after Egotistic. After 39 songs, there's finally a song to make me go, wait a minute. Two totally different songs. Totally different songs, totally different vibes, totally different energies. Incredible talent in both, and both brilliant in their own way. I think this is going to be the record for me to say in a placement, guys. Not only for Mamamoo, this might get into the record of, like, I think my record for placement, placing a song. I think it's around the 25 minute mark, and it was a Dreamcatcher ranking. Um, I think it was Boca. Damn. I'm looking at, I'm obviously guys, I mean, because I'm doing this in real time too, I can show you, I'm looking at these top three. And while it's hard, of course, because it's different vibes, Egotistic and Decalcomanea are different to each other, Egotistic and Decalcomanea are very different to this song. I Miss You is not, I Miss You is a ballad. I Miss You is a power ballad. I don't know if this will shock people. I don't know. I got a feeling that these songs get compared a lot. I'd put this over I Miss You. I would. By a mile? No. But I would put above I Miss You. By the way, I'm not... That's just saying it's going above I Miss You. I don't know where it's going otherwise than that, yeah? But I'd put above I Miss You. Um, just because it got, it's got more of a... Atmospheric vibe to it. And more of an epic vibe to it, in my opinion. Paint Me has that too, guys. Again, if Paint Me had more of a more of a crescendo to it, Paint Me would easily be in the top ten. That top ten I'm looking at now. Easily in the top ten. Um I Miss You, of course, has absolute power and emotion in it. But it doesn't have that epic instrumental. It's the instrumental of if you if I was to compare I Miss You and Where Are We Now, it's the instrumental in particular. The the elevates where are we now above I miss you for me. So yeah, I'm kind of not going from top to bar top to bottom here, guys. I'm kind of going from I miss you up. Um, Decalco Mane, classic. 
A legendary Mama Moo song. I don't think even I Miss You made me cry like that. Mama Moo made me cry, guys, in concerts and stuff like that. You know, Munbyul, um Refuge is a refuge is performance the cover she did that that broke me. They've they've made me cry a lot, especially my Patreon. And that's not that's not a plug for my Patreon. I'm just saying that a lot of the exclusive performances and covers and stuff that I checked out on my Patreon have got me when it comes to Mama Moo. I miss you. I, I miss you. I got emotional. I think I can't remember, but I I don't think like this. So yeah, it goes about that. The Calico Mane, I have so much love for. So you adore the chorus. Again, completely different energy to this. This is really tough. Really, really tough. Because it's so different to those two songs. The Egotistic and Dick Alcamane, which I know people may be thinking, well, you, you do all these rankings, of course, there's going to be different songs all over the place. Yeah, true, true. But, like, I hold those two songs, Egotistic in particular, but honestly, Dick Alcamane is not far from it. I hold them in elite, guys. Not just elite of Mama Moo, elite on this channel, elite. Like, elite. So it's a big statement if this goes above one of those or even to the top. I'm not going to pair of egotistic. I'm not going to pair of egotistic. That's one thing I could say. So right, there you go. I know now if it's above or below the calcomanae. The calcomanae, like I'm going through all the parts of my head now. And they're all incredible. Moonbill's rap verses, the chorus, the drums, the rolling in the deep Adele sort of vibes that the song has. The final chorus, the ad libs, the the beat of the song, the drive in rhythm of the song. Oh my god, this is the toughest ranking I've had in a long time, guys. As you could probably tell. I know people are probably in the comments or chat or whatever it might be. Giving their opinions on, you know, out of the two songs. And I will be curious about that, guys. Let me know out of the two songs, as different as they are. Which one is your favourite out of the two? Decalcomane or Where Are We Now? Now that's the thing, guys, I've said before, ballads, just like with I Miss You, I don't always listen to ballads, you know? I, 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 I gotta be in the mood for them. But when they hit, I've said before, god damn they hit. And I, and I highly regard them if they're great. And this is great.
I made my decision. I've made my decision. I'm hoping if I say I made my decision, it's going to make me make my decision. Because <laughs> I'm not there yet. Um, I want to see what it looks like there. So again guys, for anybody that's curious about my rules, I can't change my ranking when that red button goes off. When I end the video. Can't change it. I want to see what that looks like. In bold, in the italic. And it looks alright. I'm not looking at that and thinking, oh, no, actually, God, that looks a bit crazy. You know, the fact that it's about a decal coming A. It looks about right. But, my God, guys, when I tell you that it's close, I don't think there's ever been, as far as, like, high up in any list on any ranking series, I don't think there's ever been two songs, in my opinion, that are closer to each other where I've had this much of a headache as those two songs when it comes to Where Are We Now and Decalco Mane because they are to two totally different songs. If it was Where Are We Now and I Miss You, they were going up against each other, it wouldn't be that tough. Of course, I, I, I prefer Where Are We Now myself um, as much as I love I Miss You. But the fact that they're two totally different songs and I'd listen to Decalco Mane way more than this song because of replay value and and the fact that it's got energy to it and it's not a ballad. But again, guys, when ballads hit, ballads goddamn hit. I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. By the way, when I now moving on, moving on now. What are performances of that song like? What are live performances of that song like? These these four doing that live. That's terrifying. Whoa. Gonna need to check out some live performances of that song. So hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I don't know how long this video is gonna be in full. This is probably gonna be close to 40 minutes, this video. It's the longest episode of a ranking series I've done in a while. Um... It might be the longest, I don't know. But again, when, you de when you're dealing with elite songs like this, from an elite group like this, I'm going to take my time. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Hit the like button if you did. Give me a great idea and see more Mamma Moo on the channel. For God's sake, let me know in those comments section. Out of those top four songs that I've got, forget about your own lists for a moment. Out of those top four songs that I've got, let me know where you'd rank those top four songs. So, from Egotistic to I Miss You, let me know where you would rank those. Not saying that they're your top, fa top four favorite Mamma Moo songs, but if you were to pick from those four, and you had to rank between those four, let me know where it'd be. I'm incredibly curious about that. And please subscribe. Because plenty of Mamma Moo on the channel already in the Mamma Moo Reactions playlist. Plenty more on the way. So hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, morning, afternoon, night. Whenever you're watching this, please take care. Much love.